Now, as the world switches over from bulky old-fashioned televisions to the new generation of flat-screen models, we're being left with a major problem, lead. In just the first quarter of this year, 35,000 tonnes of televisions and computer screens were sent for recycling in the UK, and each cathode ray tube can hold up to a kilo of poisonous lead. But now, a Kent recycling plant claims to be the first in the world to solve the technical issue of separating the heavy metal from the glass. And the furnace in Sittingbourne can now recycle 4,000 televisions a day. Our environment correspondent, Yvette Austin, has tonight's special report. 4,000 old tellies a day arrive at the recycling plant in Sittingbourne. The introduction of flat screen TVs has meant the leaded glass in the cathode ray tubes is no longer recycled into more tellies. So instead, they've been stockpiling on waste sites around the world. But now a revolutionary recycling method has been born. These are the cathode ray tubes out of old TVs. We're stripping these down and separating the leaded glass so we can extract the pure lead. The crushed tubes contain 20% lead. In a telly, the metal protected us from x-rays, but now it's being extracted for other uses. It's sucked into a unique furnace. This is the heart of where the glass starts its journey and uh, is delivered onto a pot of 18 tonnes of molten glass which is underneath that blanket there, the dark blanket, is, uh, is over a thousand degrees. And at that temperature we can chemically separate the lead from the glass and simply get the lead to fall to the bottom of the, bottom of the furnace and let the glass continue on its journey. It's not quite liquid gold, but it is reusable. So this is the glass that, that's coming out of the furnace after we've taken the lead from it, which is now good for turning into um, aggregates for road use. You wouldn't want to make drinking glasses from it, but it's perfect and not hazardous anymore. And what's left over is the precious lead. Out of every waste TV you get one kilo of lead. And this is a, a valuable rare earth commodity that otherwise would have had to be dug up. So we're literally creating alchemy in Kent, creating lead from waste. Two tonnes of lead a day are extracted, fetching £1,300 a tonne. Much of it will go into the batteries for our cars. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, Sittingbourne.